Hello everyone and welcome to today's <laughs> Student Ambassador Program webinar. Presenting for us today is Lauren Stockstad of Capilano University. Hi Lauren, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Now, just before we get started, I'd like to quickly introduce some of the people attending today's webinar. Stephanie Wells of Capilano is tuning in, as is Carol Greenwood from the Travel Industry Association of Ontario. We're also expecting a representative from Kentucky to listen in. Here at Baxter, we have Wendy McClung, Emily McClung, Ashley Rochford, <coughs> Soccer, and I'm Dan McDonald. And for anyone signed in via computer today, if you have any questions during the webinar, just type them into the chat box or the Q&A box, and those questions will be answered after the presentation has finished. Okay, Lauren, if you'd like to go ahead and share your screen, you can start whenever you're ready. <coughs> Great. <clears throat> Okay, can you guys see my desktop? It's just coming on now. Uh, yeah, now we can see it. Perfect. Thanks. All right, well, um, good morning or good afternoon to you guys back east. Um, my name is Lauren Stockstead and I am in my fourth and final year here at Capilano University, graduating with a Bachelor of Tourism Management degree. Um, in exactly one month, and I'm very excited about that. But today, I will be presenting to you all about um, Kentucky travel, selling Kentucky, and closely looking at the Asian product and offerings. So, a little background, or sorry, today's agenda. Um, I'll introduce Kentucky, do a little background, um, introduce the offerings, as well as how you can sell these packages, uh, what's in it for you, and then we'll finish off with a question period. So, Kentucky has been the leader in youth travel since 1962, when it all began in just a van and a group of travelers. Um, their spirit and passion for ad adventuring bolstered this amazing company to continue to provide opportunities for young travelers to connect with other like-minded individuals globally and ultimately enrich the lives of those involved. So, Kentucky offers many different packages and tours around the world, but as I mentioned, I will be focusing on the Asia region. <clears throat> so, now uh, new for 2017-2018, Kentucky is now offering 14 unique itineraries traveling throughout 10 different countries. Um, they include Japan, China, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, <laughs> Indonesia, Thailand, and India. Um, they offer a wide and diverse range of product offerings that will be attractive to various different types of travelers, uh, depending on what exactly they're looking for. So, Kentucky has done an amazing thing by breaking down each of the itineraries based on travel style. So, the Discoverer, In-Depth Explorer, Easy Pace, and now this new winter and ski adventure. Um, the Discoverer ranges from 9 to 27 day long itineraries, um, and these are um, geared towards travelers who want to see and experience it all. They want to see, you know, the iconic must-sees, those um, bucket list items, but they also want a little bit of the un unique and local experiences as well. Um, they crave the perfect balance between an organized sightseeing trip and also being able to venture off on their own. So an example of this would be um, the Bangkok to Singapore adventure. Uh, it's a tw uh, sorry, 14 day trip to three different countries. Um, well, you'll include exploring walking tours of Georgetown Street art and also guided uh, countryside tour through the Cameron Highlands, which is a tea plantation and a butterfly farm. Um, and your accommodations vary between hotel stays as well as like a uh, treehouse night, as well as a floating cabin. Um, the in-depth explorer example would be an 18 to 13 day uh, itinerary. Um, and these are for interested um, in keeping their focus on just one country and really digging in deep on, on that one particular country and getting an up close and personal feel of the destination. Um, these are for those folks that want to live like a local and they're travelers who are all about food, history, local experiences and the culture. Um, and they would rather spend more time in that one place rather than just seeing the city really quick and moving on to the next one. Um, so an example of this would be the ex Eternal India trip. Um, and this is a 12 day trip throughout India. And it includes exploring cities like Delhi, Jaipur, Mumbai. It also get, grants you entrance into the Taj Mahal, as well as options for a safari or a cooking demo or even a Bollywood tour. 
Um, the next would be the Easy Pace, which is an eight to nine day trip. Um, and these trips are very, very relaxing. They're all about snorkeling, napping under palm trees, a stress-free travel centered around an island way of life. These trips are great for those who want to take their sweet time and just relax and stay a few days before moving on to the next stop, <clears throat> but who also want a little more me time. Um, an example of this would be the Bali Island Hopper, which is an eight day trip throughout Bali. Um, and it's all about sand and sun, where you get seven nights in a three to four star hotel, sightseeing the Elephant Cave Temple, um, rice terraces and more, with the option of either learning how to snorkel or surf. And lastly, there is the Winter and Ski Adventure, which is a 12 day um, new offering. And this trip is for those who want to explore Japan, as well as experience um, the winter scene of a world-class ski hills. It offers um, exploration through three, three different cities throughout Japan, as well as a three-day lift pass and, um, and much more throughout Tokyo, Kyoto, and other cities. So for those of you wanting to sell these types of trips, um, clearly the target market for Kentucky has been the millennials. They range in age from 18 to 35, no little, no less, both male and female. And as mentioned before, these travel packages are all based on one's travel style. Um, so you can cater your clients' various wants and needs based on the style of explorer they, they are or who they want to become. Um, so this company has well established over 55 years of experience. Um, you can't really go wrong. Kentucky is well established in the market and hires you know, lo knowledgeable local staff as well as um, great uh, trip managers who'll be with the um, people on their trips. Um, <clears throat> Kentucky is also very sustainable. Um, they have this program called Kentucky Cares, um, and it's powered by Tread Light. Tre sorry, Tread Right. Um, and Kentucky is on a mission to protect and preserve the places and the people of where they take their travelers throughout the world. Um, each country is different, but uh, for the Asian profit uh, products specifically, they're offering um, a visit to a specific restaurant in Cambodia called Friends Restaurant where they help disadvantaged youths and work um, with them and teach them new skills and kind of get them in the work world, as well as throughout China and Vietnam, TreadRight works with um, and supports wild aid, which is um, very helpful for ending the illegal wildlife trade. <clears throat> Kentucky is also very convenient. They have great options for booking now, paying later, or prepaying at a discount. They even have last minute deals as well as group and bundled rates. <clears throat> they also have this freedom guarantee, so it's kind of like a no strings attached approach. Um, if you change your mind at your last minute, which most of us tend to do, you can either change your trip for free or, you know, if you're not feeling like you're ready to go just quite yet, you can have um, your deposit saved for, you know, whenever two months or now, a year down the road, whenever you feel like you're ready to go. Um, and also these trips are planned to the T. They are fully inclusive with your transportation. Most of your meals are covered, especially breakfast, which is very important. Um, accommodations, you have your local guides, <clears throat> and there's, <clears throat> sorry, me time, which is also very important when you're traveling with a group of individuals that you've never met before. Um, it's all about more fun, less hassle, so they'll do the planning while you get to enjoy the experience. Um, Kentucky is all about no regrets as well. So it's very exciting. Um, they market to themselves as a company that makes every moment count. And they stress that you're only young once. So you might as well get out there and explore the world, um, explore the unknown with other like-minded individuals to iconic spots and uh, get that local feel as well. So what's in it for you? Well, as travel agents, you um, are offered many fam trips around the world from Kentucky. Um, as well as agent discounts. But what's new is this Kentucky U, which is a new online learning mo module, <clears throat> and it will aid you in the insight of the Kentucky products and offerings, but also be able to ensure that you understand millennials today and what they want so you can market to them specifically. Um, and there's also incentives with this Kentucky U. So there's a rewards program after you complete all the modules and take the courses. Um, you'll be eligible for this Kentucky rewards thing, which um, ranges from you know, winning travel bags and gift cards all the way up to free trips. So that's all based on how many bookings you make throughout um, your Kentucky U learning experience. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, after learning about all these trips, I definitely feel like I need to book a vacation with Kentucky. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much, Lauren. You are welcome. So we'll take a few minutes now just to answer any questions that people may have. And once again, if you're signed in by computer, um, please type any questions into the chat box or the Q&A box so that I can read them out for Lauren. Uh, Wendy here at Baxter has a question. Okay. Hi. Um, I just wanted to know if you know how a travel agent would make money from selling a Contiki trip. Is there a commission structure? Um, I read somewhere that there is a commission. Um, I didn't find out exactly what the dollar amount was, um, so I'm not exactly sure about that. Okay. That's good. Thanks. Um, hi, Lauren. It's Ian Stalker. Hi. I'm just wondering, of the trips you saw, did you think that any looked particularly uh, more interesting than the others? Any, did any actually stand out to a greater degree, a greater degree or one actually stand out to a greater degree? Um, well, for me personally, I do enjoy the relaxation side of things. So the Island Hopper one um, in Bali looks it's like something I would definitely book within the next year. <laughs> um, so, and I've never been to Asia or Southeast Asia, so um, they kind of all looked really great to me. So I don't think I'm the best person to answer that question. Um, what I did like about the brochure though, that they had was they broken everything down for you and they tell you exactly where you're gonna go, how long you're staying there, what's included in that specific day. Like the itinerary is planned out to the T, like I mentioned earlier. and. I really appreciated that as a as someone who's never been to those places and um, it kind of helped me get a great understanding of what to expect on this trip. Great, thanks. Ian says thanks. Thank you, Lauren. Okay. No problem. <laughs> and of course, we'll give it another minute just to see if anybody else has questions. Uh, if you're signed in by computer, if you type your questions into either the chat box or the Q&A box, um, I can see them and read them out. And it looks like that's about it for the questions today. So I'd like to thank everyone that tuned into the webinar today. And Lauren, thanks again so much for presenting. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. Definitely. So you have a fantastic day, and we shall be in touch. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye.